let me show you. I just came out. Like, I just enter with morale. Like, I just showed up. Say, when thing they happen, she beat your test. <laughs> we have red. That is how I press next, though. Expecting to press it finish now. Let me stand up. What did I see next? <laughs> what did I see next? Hazard perception video. <laughs> what are you telling me? You say it instantly. The saliva in my mouth dried up. <laughs> I became thirsty. I became pressed. I was sweating. My head was hot. So when I opened them. Uh, this was what I saw. <laughs> we are ready. Like, I got this app. You all saw the app now. I was super gassed. You know, I was going through it over and over. I did the mock test 50 over 50. <laughs> I'm like, very test, here I come. Hmm. When I got there, first, I just, like, my body, first of all, received some small chills because from the entrance, you know, I was, I've been feeling my, like, I've been feeling all cool when I was in the bus, you know, with the shades, like, like, let's go, let's go and smash it, you know what I'm saying? So, as I entered the test center, first of all, they say, um keep your phone um off your phone i saw security i saw um all of the staff members i know you know people sitting behind the desk i'm like wait to, what was about to go down security man said uh, you know we take off take off your bag give me a key all maxed up and all give me key to a locker so that i should switch off my phone you know i should put everything take off my jacket like take everything off okay it's it's like dawning on me as a first timer i did not i did not know what to expect so they took i took off everything opened the locker put every you know put in my belongings phone every my wristwatch every dang thing into the locker so security directed me to the next desk to for check-in with my provisional driver's license so i went to the check-in the lady checked everything you know told me to take off my mask let her see my real face i'm like this is serious business they did all the checks now. I moved on to the next person. So the next person, you know, signed me in, checked my, um, checked my ID and all of that, all of those check-ins signed me in. So she pointed towards the hall where I need to enter, where other people were seated. And then I peeped from the corner of my eye. I saw how serious, I don't know if you've taken jump in Nigeria, you know, you know, the day is very serious. Mm -hmm. And then for wherever, jump is an examination we take in Nigeria for you to get into uni. It looked super serious. I did like, I, I did not know. I had no idea. I got into the hall and right at the hall in front of the desktop, because I had a number on the plate with the key they gave to me and my number was 21. As I approached my seat number, I could see my name, my full names written on the screen with my seats in my own cubicle like, that this demarcant everybody's got their own demarcation so it's like your own cubicle space my chair was there the headphone was hanging <laughs> i began to feel that palpitation <laughs> so i went and sat down you know when you start when it begins to dawn on you that this is some serious business that was how i, I began to feel it I sat down, my morale was beginning to drop small small. I sat down now, faced the screen. And then he said that you should read the instructions and all that when you're ready, you press start. And I'm like, hey, that kind of feeling when it feels like you want to have some hot poo. Guy <laughs> get morale cut. Anyway, I sat down on the chair, cover myself with the blood of Jesus, did some initial prayer as a typical Niger Christian girl that I am, I started. Things I wish I knew before I went for the test. I thought that due to the fact that I used an app, everything I was going to, it's very likely that the questions I'm going to see would be similar or would be what I saw in the app, it would be the questions I was answering in the app. Should I shock you? Oh God. Should I say it was only 
Okay, let me be fair. Probably just about seven or eight questions were from the app. The rest, the mixture of language, the choice of words. It's some kind of similar to what I've been, what I've seen from my experience with the app because I only looked looked at, used one app. After I returned and I made further research, even from um, other people who sat the test with me, other people used different kind of apps and book as well because there is a theory book dedicated just for this test. Your sister did not know. The questions are not exactly what is in the app. It's something different. So you still have that typical, even though you think you're prepared, which is what I did not know. I was thinking that it's like jam past question that maybe you will see word for word what you practice versus what you see. No, hell to the no. So being that what I practice versus what I'm saying is not exactly the same thing. I thought to give myself some sense and know that I'll have to calm down. I'll have to read this thing through like <laughs> properly so that I'll be sure of what I'm doing. Plus the timer is on the screen, 57 minutes to answer 50 questions and you're supposed to pass 43 in order to get a pass. So all of these things are at the back of my head with my timer ticking. I'm like, girl, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> this thing has to work. So I went taking and taking and taking and taking and taking, completed the 50 questions and I looked at the screen. Oh, okay. I've still got about 30 minutes left. Oh, I finished this under 20 minutes, making sense. 57, 57 minutes rather, 57 minutes. So I've still got like, I, I used so about 20 minutes to finish the questions. So I still got about 37 minutes left. I'm like, okay, we'll be chilling. See me rolling on my chair. <laughs> See me rolling on my chair like some CEO. Ah, oh, God, do oh, how ignorant. After rolling on my chair, I'm like, mm, since I'm done with the questions, let me still just go through it, you know, briefly. I started scrolling through while I was rolling left and right in my chair. And then after, after I spent like, say, 10 minutes, 10 12 minutes, uh, you know, running through the questions and my answer. I thought to just press next and end this theory test and just be out of here, you know. Oh, yeah, now join me. That is how I pressed next, though. Expecting to press C finish now. Let me stand up. What did I see next? <laughs> what did I see next? Hazard perception video. Hey. <laughs> What are you telling me? You say wait. No, wait, wait, wait. Cause they wrote it on the screen somewhere there that if you need to ask a question, just raise your hand up. I'm s i am I say wait though. Wait. I looked at my timer. My time I'm I'm having like say ten minutes left. <laughs> I'll be wait while in the wait time thinking I'm done. I say wait though. What are you telling me? Has that is it me that will answer this like we are not done? That was how your babe raised hand up. The uh, one of the attendant ladies came to me and was like, excuse me, madam. And I said, my voice, <laughs> my voice was like this. I'm like, um, um, excuse, ma, ma, um, did you say? Look, I want to understand this thing on the screen. My my accent was very Nigerian. I don't even care what that woman, which English you want. I don't even want to know whether she will understand me or not. I'm like, ma. Have I um this this thing on the screen? Is it me that will answer it? Like I don't understand. So the lady was like, "Oh yeah, madam, it's just the video. You're gonna have to watch it to answer the questions." I say, "Is it part of the test?" <laughs> she said, "Yes." I said, "Jesus, no bottom." Oh my call me for woman, eh? Eh, so for me, I just call you me. Una no like una no explain this to you well. Uh. You're bringing straight up from I didn't get it. I lost the memo. Hey, <laughs> my people, this was how with my few time left. I I have to call the woman again, please. This time that I have here, like, is it time? She, she was like, it's just a video. You just have to answer the questions, and it's part of the test. Instantly, the saliva in my mouth dried up. <laughs> I became thirsty, I became pressed, I was sweating, my head was hot, all my swag left me, I went to stand at the corner and be staring at me, hey! I opened my eyes with sweat, like I'm like, okay, I started watching the video, and do you know the, the, you know, you know the crazy part? 
in this in the in the app i used i actually saw that hazard perception video but you know what i thought being that it's the car driving it's like you're driving the car so what are you going to do how do you react to hazard the hazard perception test is designed to test your response to developing hazards that you may encounter whilst driving this is the view you see from your vehicle Imagine you are driving along this road. This is how the clips will play in the test. The test has 14 clips. 13 of these have one developing hazard, but one of the clips will have two. I was thinking this will be required when I go for my practical test. I had zero idea that this was going to come out in my theory test. Please, you all help me do the mathematics. How is it connected? I came for theory test. I'm thinking it's just read and write. I do not understand that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing something practical. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus! I had to pick up the last bit of courage I had within me left. I'm like, girl, just start. Just see, just just do this thing. I had zero practice for the hazard perception test video. Like nothing. I had in the app. I said I was going to do it later when I'm done with the theory test. I did not know that that's the part B section of this theory test. This is how I started this video with zero knowledge. I was just going, I was just taking, but I had to make sure I read the instructions properly because the instruction said for every time you see, you perceive, um, for every time you perceive a hazard, tap on the red flag and it's going to be judging me based on how fast I'm able to react to the hazard. So being that I've been going through, through the theory, I have an idea of what hazard is, you know, here and there idea around my practice, what I've been reading online, updating myself about driving and what is expected to stay safe as a driver. I had to use that intuition to go with this. I didn't know in the back of my head, I was asking myself, is my intuition enough to pass me? Is my intuition enough for me to react fast? I was also wondering certain things I might overlook probably might be considered a hazard by the DVLA. Those who are responsible for marking my answers. Jesus. I just went on. It was 14 hazard perception videos. And if you over click on the flags, like if you over select, like if you do it excessively over select, even where you're supposed to and not, it gets to take out of your point. And if you respond slower, you don't get the point. <laughs> I was just on the edge. This judgment has already laid out to me from the beginning of the video that this is how my response will be judged. I continue clicking. I was watching, my eyes was like this. I was thinking, I tried not to think about how much time I have left. My mind was like, this woman said this video, just go ahead and click. So when I see, when I see what I, what, when I perceive a hazard, I click immediately. I was looking left, right, front. Oh my. My eyelashes always get into my eyes. Oh. I was looking everywhere. I was just on the tip of my toes like this, trying to answer this question. Oh my, my eyelashes, gosh. I was answering, answering, answering 14 questions. Video one is over, video two is over. I saw some I, in, in some of the videos, it is suburban area. Some videos are rural areas. Some videos are on the bridge. Some with wet road, different kind of, I'm like, <laughs> Tell me bow. Now you are right, test Abby. That was how your sister was just driving. You see, like, <laughs> Oh, it was a humbling situation for me. Me, we carry Morago. Uh, as I was answering this question, eh, nothing else was on my head. Whether I will pass or I will fail, I don't know. Let me just do what I can do and let me stand up from here. If I fail, I did not kiss somebody. Let somebody's daughter go home and rest. <laughs> This was how I finished though, when eventually it showed me the last the last video, that's the 14th video, it said you're done. And then it asked if I would like to partake in one of their survey videos, which will not impact in my results, it has nothing to change. I said, okay, let me just, let me partake in their survey video, maybe they will pity for me. <laughs> I have my life. I partake in one of these survey videos. After the first survey video, I brought another survey video. I said, and now survey, I call you, I call you, please, I've done one survey video. You people should help me if you want to, whatever. Can I just leave? I ended my session and I stood up. I was so cold. I was so quiet. I just wanted to walk towards one of the staffs at the entrance to the hall where, our, where we were taking the test. And then in a very quiet, humble tone, 
<laughs> I said, um, excuse me, madam, I'm done with my test. And then she told me to go right towards the next stop. They'll tell us what to do. So as we went right, it was towards um the entrance where we came in from. I went to the security with my plate and key. And then they opened um my locker. I took out my belongings and then I went to one of the staffs who are lined up, you know, issuing our results. So the person in front of me was about to collect his. I just waited. <laughs> the guy collected his and quietly. When people collect their, they just quietly turn like this. When they collect, they quietly turn. So it was my own turn. I went. I took mine. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. I can't get over this thing. I took mine quietly. And then I, I, I just looked. Where's my bag? I slotted into my bag and I went outside. So there was this guy already in front of me who was opening his own outside. I was opening mine too. Look, I, it was more of a humbling feeling for me, to be honest. I felt like I narrowly escaped. I feel so grateful and I thank God that I got this once and once and for all. Uh, look, I don't take I don't take pride. I, I'm not proud. I don't pr I don't take pride in this. I give all the glory. Oh God, she likes it to intuition. I'll say I have this exam grace because with almost all of the exams I've taken all my life, academics name it, it's just been one time. You know, first time and I get to get through first time. I just thank God for His grace to be honest. And this one is also added to the list. So look. The guy who was ahead of me, the one who took his papers before mine, said when he did it the second time, this was his third attempt, what he failed the second time again is the hazard perception video. It's split into two sections. There is multiple choice, which was the one I practiced for, which was the one I had in my head. I thought that was all. And then there is the hazard perception video. So you're supposed to score 43. 43 correct answers out of 50 and then for the hazard perception you're supposed to score 44 out of a possible 75 the first time he didn't know there was a hazard perception video just like me the second time he wasn't able to score up to 44 out of a possible 75 but this time around he smashed it when i heard this guy's story i was just saying thank god though my old, hey <laughs> what i'll advise anyone who's about to take this day see look don't even go with too much confidence like mm, just just don't tell anybody unless you don't mind if you're the kind of person because me even if i didn't pass i was still going to come out here regardless and explain how it went down and you know tell you my lessons and when because when eventually i pass i'll still come here and be like oh finally i've passed <laughs> you know it's not hard like that so but i'm just going to tell you if you're going to have to go for this test look do every practice possible some persons say they have different kind of apps you know get knowledge from different kind of apps i only use one app which i wouldn't advise get knowledge from different sources the book every material you know you can and then practice most importantly be aware there is a hazard perception video that is a completely different section altogether and i guess it was newly introduced because this test questions change from time to time have you gone through this theory test let us know down in the comment section what your experience was this was my own experience i hope you learned a thing or two if you're yet to get through it get through it and come back here and tell us i'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye bye <laughs>